So I've got my autumn winter haul today. I thought it was about time that I showed you the bits that I've sort of had new in recently. This amount is not necessary. Like if I didn't do the job that I did, then I'd probably buy like a few pieces from this stuff. A few bits of things that I've been sent. So I'll sort of let you know in the description bar which bits have been sent to me. They're all things that I've picked. So it's not just like some random crap that a brand's pushed out to me. I thought this, like filming like this was gonna be easy, but it is not. Like what, what do I do with my arms? Like, what do I do? Do I stand like this? Do I put things on? And uh, my little tiny pea brain cannot suss it out and it, I'm finding it hard and I'm like this close to just sacking it off. <laughs> Hopefully this will turn out all right. Anyway, I'm gonna get on and show you the outfits. So first up, which this one's quite easy for me to show you. This is the coat that I bought. I did pop it on my Instagram the other day. Um, it's from Next, it just looks like that, so yeah it's got like the little belly bit at the back and i just feel like this is a good sort of basic it was only 58 quid which is mainly why i got it because i just thought it's a bit of a bargain and jackets like this are normally like 80 quid like the borg style but yeah that's one that i'll definitely be wearing loads when it gets colder next i've got a little polka dot skirt which i think i wore in a video a few weeks back so it looks like this and it's just got i'll hitch it up a little sort of frilly hem around the bottom so it kind of comes to about knee length and just below knee length when you're about five foot four like me i got this actually in petite which i'm not petite i'm kind of average but i think if you've got shorter legs sometimes petite works better on a longer skirt this one was from boohoo it was only like a cheap one it's not like a fancy material or anything but i just think for like a good little basic skirt i'd wear this to like a big t-shirt or a cozy jumper I reckon. I'll go on to the Zara pieces. This is another little skirt that I've got. It's got a bit of a split there but it's not like too much and I quite like that it's kind of in the middle. I'd probably wear it with a top like this or I've got my favourite jumper here which I know I wear a ridiculous amount but I did wear it like this the other day on Instagram and then I just sort of tucked the jumper up so it looks like that. I mean that's not a good tuck for me but yeah, just so you can kind of see a little bit of your waist and then the little frilly bit. I think I would wear this one with heels or just like some casual, oh I wore it with boots actually, just like some sort of heeled boots. Next up I've got high waist trousers from Zara, so I'd been wanting some high waist trousers for a good while. These were only like 17 99 so I didn't want to pay too much because I didn't know how much I'd wear them and they're like that really comfortable material so the stretch can fit a fair amount of like food baby in there and they're just like wide leg i would not wear them with these shoes but i don't want to get my toes out <laughs> i just think they'll be good with like knitwear so like a gray jumper something like that and yeah just super comfy i just tried this shirt with the leopard print trousers and it did not look good on camera so i've switched back to my jeans i'm not really sure about it on me but i feel like it will look nice it's just you've got to have like the right accessories i feel like i probably need some sort of heels with it but this is the shirt i've seen loads of people in on instagram bloggers and stuff and it's from zara again and it's just got the like drop back so good if you don't want to flash too much bum probably wear it more like that i reckon or like part tucked in Hmm, I don't know. I think I will wear it. I just feel like it's a difficult one to style even though everyone else seems to look freaking amazing in it. Next up is this jumper which I feel like with this coat it's going to be so nice. I think this is the fifth. Let me have a look. Yeah, so this is by the fifth. It's in a medium so it's extra oversized but I love it. It's just going to be like the comfiest slouchy jumper which I love stuff like this. So I know it's not like a tight shape which is what I usually go for but I can tuck it like this or like even tuck it more into my bra I reckon but I think I prefer it like more cash though because it's just nice to have a few things in your wardrobe that are comfortable and even though it probably makes my legs look so short it's comfy and I'm not asked. So I got this from Runway96, they do like all sort of designer brands, Calvin Klein and stuff. I've also got a coat that I'll quickly show you. So the coat I picked out is from the 5th as well. So look at this. So nice. And I feel like this is going to be my posh coat, like when I need something a little bit smarter. 
actually maybe not with this jumper because I feel like my arms are like that. I perhaps should have sized up. Other than the arms, over a big jumper, like I think it fits really nice. So you can wear it like that, which I don't know if I would do unless it's really cold. I always like to have a long coat and at the minute I've got two Primark ones that are disgusting, like they're all bobbly, they're mucky, they've probably been down in cellar for months, so they need to go and I need something smarter and nicer and this will definitely fit the bill. I've got a couple of things from H&M, one of them is this t-shirt, so it's just a little basic t-shirt, it wasn't actually something that I was like, I need that, I just felt like it would be a good option, like a good layering piece, so I could wear it like that or I'll probably just tuck it into denim actually and wear it with a belt. I don't really buy red, so don't know, it don't really go, but I'm not bothered, it's comfy. The only other thing from H&M is this little dress which I didn't try it on and actually it's a bit long on me but I've had it for weeks and weeks so I don't think I can take it back. I love it but I think it's like one of those that needs, I don't know, a petite fit. I'd like it like there which I know would be too short for some people but if you've got short legs like me I know I'll go on about it but it is difficult to make your legs look longer so anything that's really long can look a bit odd but I think it is like the kind of material I could just cut I just do like the little edge like jumper edge so we'll see maybe my mum can do something with it I don't think this was expensive I think it was like 14 pounds I could wear it like with this coat just something cozy and I'll probably stick to bare legs like I feel like this year I'm just gonna ban tights like I'm not gonna wear them <laughs> I'm gonna have to honor. So I had to show you these trousers which probably aren't gonna look great like this. They will be on an outfit on my Instagram and I hope I can make them look better because they are the comfiest things ever. They're like, they look like Borg material online but it's actually like the really fluffy stuff and they're actually soft inside. Like some of this material is like really hard inside but this is the soft stuff. These are mainly for like comfy casuals but I probably will wear them out as well just on really cold days. I also got them in like this grey colour. I love this colour, I think I'll wear these more just because it is a little bit more practical grey than cream. But I'll be nice, I think I'll wear these ones with like a matchy grey top, matchy cream top. Doesn't look great with the black but they're so snuggly and then they've just got like the little cuffs on the bottom so they are like a proper jogger style. I got these from Misguided so they were out of stock last time I looked, I think everyone bought them really quick. But I will have a look and I'll try and link something or find something similar or link like the old post in case they come back in stock. So the last things I got were from ASOS. So this dress was one of them. It's really long, like it's like almost ankle length. It goes to like there and I feel like a lot of people won't like this. But I think it's like really classy and beautiful and nice. So I like it and it's got the little like horn buttons. You could wear it like buttoned up, I probably wouldn't. I'd say the only thing is it does sort of hang, which I like because it's comfortable, but it's not like as flattering, like if it was more like a stretch sort of tubey material. I got an eight in this and I'll probably wear it with like heels on a night out, like some brown heels would be nice. Or maybe just like with the loafers that I had on or like some boots, I think. I'll try and do like a full length picture on Instagram soon so people can actually see it. So the only other things that I got from ASOS were shoes. So I'll go into like footwear now. I've just got a few pairs to show you. These were the first pair that I got, so these were 22 quid. they weren't expensive, they're not like leather or anything fancy. I've got a feeling they will rub a lot, but hopefully I can wear them in. And I just wanted like a new loafer to wear with denim or like casual outfits, but something a bit different from black. So I think these will be really nice with like all the cream stuff that I've been buying. And I've just got loads of outfits that I know these will go with, they're just like that fake croc thing, so. Yeah, I really like those at the minute. On to less practical options, I feel like I may break my neck in these, but they are beautiful. The super big, chunky heeled, pointed ones, I just know these will go with so much, like on nights out, and I'm not very good at wearing heels on nights out, especially in winter, I just feel like you're asking to break, actually I broke my foot once in February. A guy in a club jumped on my foot when the bass dropped, and I had to walk about, well, hobbled around for weeks and weeks, refused to go to any, knew it was broke because I could feel like the lump. So yeah, after being pretty sure that I broke my foot in a club, I do like a good 
sensible shoe. You have less chance of decking it in these, so I'd wear them with jeans or like, I don't know, maybe like wide leg trousers, they'd work well too. And then the last ones are these sort of Gucci inspired ones. They've just got like the green and red stripe around the front. I can't afford Gucci. I don't want to spend that much on shoes anyway at the minute. I've got boring crap to pay for. So these are inspired version. I think these will go with loads too because like that bit of colour just sort of brings in other colours so you can get away with something a bit different. I always feel like that with leopard print shoes like it adds a bit of something in that means you can get away with more colours so I love those. The heel isn't too bad and because it's a blocky heel which I wear a lot I think I can manage in those. So that is me done with autumn winter stuff. I'm sure there'll be lots of these bits featured on my Instagram soon so there'll be more kind of ways to wear coming up in the next few weeks because I haven't actually worn most of this stuff like I've sort of kept it away for a few weeks and now it can be unleashed can't wait there'll be links to everything below I'll also put like all the sizing info I'm gonna pop up an Instagram video with like all the pieces tried on worn different ways but I will pop all the extra info in the description so if you need that that'll be there but yeah I'm gonna get off now and I'll see you soon